Hello everybody, uh, my name is Heather and I'm a member at Berkeley v Fourth Church. So I am currently sitting in my favourite armchair with all of my quilts and for me this is very much a place of rest. It's where I read a lot, um, where I listen to podcasts, uh, where I sew and also where I spend time with God and it's what I learned during one of those times with him that I would love to share with you today if that's all right. So I have been getting myself really worked up and stressed about all of the things that I felt I should be doing during lockdown um, in terms of serving other people and preparing for all the evangelism I thought I should do um, when the lockdown lifts and being a great preacher and a great missionary and I was so scared and so discouraged because in that moment all of those things that I thought I should be doing and that I thought I should be really great at seemed so impossibly enormous. But God spoke to me in that moment and reminded me of the story of Mary and Martha. It says in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered. You are worried and upset about many things but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. I'm sure we can all relate to feeling like Martha quite regularly in our lives, thinking about all the preparations that need to be made and all the things that we think we're supposed to be doing. The story of Mary and Martha is often taught on, but every time I hear it, I'm grateful for the reminder just to slow down, to sit at the Lord's feet and to hear what he has to say, make space for him to speak. And these times usually turn out to be the most precious times of my day. So what's really important here? Jesus said, few things are needed, or indeed only one. Evangelism and community work and all the rest of it are all amazing things that we're called to do. But if we do them in our strength and not God's, it won't go well and we'll be totally unfulfilled. These are things that should come out of a place of rest and spending time with our Heavenly Father. Sitting at his feet, allowing him to minister to us and learning from him. We shouldn't rest from the things we do as such. We should rest to prepare with God for the things that we are going to do. Everything else flows from that place. We are children of the most high God and we have the privilege of having a relationship with him. The creator of the universe wants to spend time with us and I at least think that's pretty awesome. So after I'd been reminded of all this I decided to just set a timer for five minutes and every day just sit in silence in my favourite armchair 
with no expectations, just showing up and giving God the space and the time and the attention to speak. So I'd like to challenge you to do the same. Just set a timer for five minutes. Be open to what God might be saying to you. Giving him the opportunity to speak and resting in him. I hope and pray that you're all safe and well at the moment.